because according to Steve Waugh he's saying that the West Indies have not chosen a good squad in a long time and from what we have seen the West Indies haven't won a series since 2000 since 1993 which is 31 years in 2024 and they haven't won a match I don't know how true this is since 2003 Welcome again to Red Narrative where it's okay to be curious, like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell for future video uploads and drop a comment. Now Roland Butler contract as West Indies selector will not be renewed. Roland Butler played three test matches and three ODIs for England in 1980 to 1981. Now he was appointed as selector in 2022 but on December 12th he was informed that his contract will not be renewed. As a result, he won't be reappointed as selector and the Desmond Ains led selection panel or the senior men team. So Cricket West Indies have been making some structural changes. So Cricket West Indies confirmed organizational changes where in a significant year they will be looking to just revamp their their structure overall. So Johnny Graves, CEO of Cricket West Indies, indicated that they're nurturing a culture of continuous evolution and improvement and they are steadfast to maximizing their human capital and to foster the best environment as possible. I don't know what that means exactly because a lot of the cricketers that come to the Caribbean, they're saying that the environment it's not necessarily the best. You know, the Caribbean had been an a, a, a amazing environment by itself. But when you talk about the pitches, you talk about the nets, you talk about just the environment where the fans are not necessarily coming out, there is some work that needs to be done. Jamaica is a landmark destination for a lot of countries and a lot of teams look forward to playing in Jamaica. But given that they don't have the opportunity to play in Jamaica, you can see where they are being charged so is this a situation where they will be getting an opportunity to play in jamaica will they be looking into just opening a few more doors for the, the, the jamaican fans and the people who like the idea of visiting jamaica to visit food for thought right steve Waugh calls out west indies and south africa on a weekend test squad and seek ICC intervention. So basically, West Indies have seven uncapped players. So seven debutants will is in their T20s in their Test squad who will be playing against. So it, who will be playing down under in that two Test series? West Indies haven't won a Test series against Australia for 30 years in 2003, and they I don't think they have won a match against the West against Australia since 2000. From 1993, they haven't won a series and they haven't won a match since 2003. West Indies, they are in a bad spot where test cricket is concerned. And Steve Waugh is saying that it's even worse knowing that they're sending an underpar, a, a, a subpar team to play against Australia. He's saying that the fans are the ones who will be suffering and who is currently suffering because they cannot enjoy a good match a good game of cricket or a good series of cricket because the west indies haven't chosen the right team in a long time they haven't chosen a full strength squad in a very long time and they saw where pakistan has sent a subpar team and even south africa they are sending a subpar team to go up against new zealand steve Waugh went further to say that if it was him in charge of the new zealand team the New Zealand squad they wouldn't even play against South Africa because South Africa is in a better position than the West Indies West Indies he can understand to some extent because they are not properly paid so the players will have to be chasing franchise money but South Africa is a bigger country and they are more financially in incentivized so he would not necessarily play against them if he was New Zealand he went on to say that Jason Holder who is probably West Indies best cricketer at the moment is not playing test cricket he decided not to play he's their best all-rounder bowling all-rounder and kyle myers their best batting all-rounder up to out of playing for the west indies against australia he said that nicholas oran who is a batting who is a is a test batsman decide not to play test cricket is also he's not doing justice to the sport and he's calling on the icc to do something about it he's not saying that it's the players only 
who have a responsibility to this responsibility to the sport it's also the icc who need to do something about it now how do you feel about what steve Waugh is saying do you think that he is correct or justified in his conversation there i really believe that icc should do something steve Waugh even gave a solution he's saying that those bigger countries who are making a lot of money from test cricket should come to an agreement to make to set a standardized fee so that all players can enjoy a certain amount of or, or can be incentivized to the set to similar levels so that you'll find that the better players will choose to play test cricket among themselves so that the fans can get the reward of watching the best players in cricket drop your comments down below and let me know what you guys think about this one do you believe that the West Indies have the opportunity to put their a better squad out there? And if that if they have a better squad, a best squad for tests, what would that look like? Do you think that they could somehow climb the ranks and start beating some of the best teams in the world? Because according to Steve Waugh, he's saying that the West Indies have not chosen a good squad in a long time. And from what we have seen, the West Indies haven't won a series since 2000 since 1993 which is 31 years in 2024 and they haven't won a match i don't know how true this is since 2003 which is 20 years ago and we're talking about since the brian laras and the chris gales even while they were there they weren't winning yet alone to be sending seven debutants against some seasoned veterans the west indies will be struggling Drop a comment down below, rewrite narrative, like, share and subscribe.